Hey, welcome back to JR's Plate. Today, we're in the courtesy of our own home in our backyard. Uh, today, I'm gonna be grilling some spare ribs. I'm gonna have my own special Texas slash St. Louis style rib rub. I'm gonna put the recipe below. Other than that, thank you for tuning in and let's get started. All right, y'all, just a little update. We're about 20 minutes in. The grill's starting to settle in. We really are starting to settle in. If you look right here, uh, we're looking about that 230-ish. Remember, we wanted to stay between 225 and 250. Uh, so this Kamado grill, this charcoal Kamado acorn is doing its job. Um, just keep watching and uh, we'll make sure we get to the rest. All right, y'all, we're about an hour into this grill. We're gonna go ahead and use some vinegar and apple cider vinegar at that. And we're gonna use some apple juice as a 50-50 blend for the spritz. You can see that a lot of this moisture is uh, starting to come to the top, but there are some areas where I wanted to not go ahead and just hook it up. I, wa I wanted to control some of that smoke on the other side on this side. We want to retain some of that moisture so that way the smoke can just get inside of it. Uh, but I don't want to lose all my heat. So I'm going to go ahead and shut this down a little bit. Give me some more. I'll open up a little bit, get my heat back up. Uh, so uh, in our grill today, we're going to use some cherry wood. We're going to use some pecan and we're gonna use some apple wood. I put three big chunks on top of the coals once we got it lit. Um, that's gonna give it that rich, that succulent flavor in that pork. So uh, keep watching, we're checking about, about another 30 minutes. All right, y'all, uh, we're at that two hour mark. Now we're just looking for color before we wrap it. I'm gonna open up the grill and we're gonna see exactly where we are. All right, um, as you can see, we got some little dry spots right here, but we don't really have that color that we're looking for. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spritz it some more. And what you wanna see is, is that when you push on it, does it come off? So it does come off, but there are some portions that are a little dry. We wanna do that. All right, y'all, we've been cooking for about two and a half hours. Uh, I let it get nice and dark. I want you to see the bark that it's gonna be putting out. That's what we're looking like on the bark. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put it on this. This is parquet brown sugar, red pepper flakes, and a little bit of sweet red wine. This is what we want. We want that succulent juices. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. Good old rib. And what I wanna do is I wanna put it face down. Look at that, look at that, see? Put it face down on the wrap. Then I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. Just fold over, so if you wanna make it easy to get it off. And right here. You just want some juices to stay in there. All right, put it back on. Get that nice and tight. Kick up some of my coals. Let it rest. We're gonna go ahead and cook this up for about an hour. All right, y'all. We're about, what, three and a half hours into the cook. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and check for some tenderness. That's when you see the bone starting to come away. Oh yeah, that's gonna be real good. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. So it's done. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wait. Hold on. Let me check my potatoes. Oh, that's 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 love right there. Ooh. Oh, that's love. All right. Flip that real quick. Sound like a little bit of baked potatoes or grilled potatoes, however you want to call it. Um. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my ribs 
out of this foil. Look at all that juice that just renders off. Have to be careful. You see, I'm already losing a rib right there. I'm gonna let that drain just like that. And then, I'm gonna put that down for a second. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and get myself prepared for my barbecue sauce. I like a, a sweet, smoky flavor of my barbecue sauce. So uh, this is uh, a little concoction that I made. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hook that up. Let me get rid of this here. All right, so got my barbecue sauce. This is looking kind of right, right here. So, so that way you can see. I'm gonna take my barbecue sauce. I'm just gonna set this glaze on here. And what I do is, when I use uh, my glaze, I like to lay it on thick on the top so it has a, a nice uh, sticky, look at that, my bone coming right out. It's gonna look real good. I'm gonna lather up some of the sides right here. Why not do some of the bones? Get some flavor on them. And I think that's about it. So I'm gonna go ahead now and uh, put this back on, probably for another good 15 to 20 minutes. Let that get stuck, sit. Look at that. Heaven on the grill, y'all. All right, y'all, it's about 17 minutes. And this is what we looking like. Heaven. Look at that. Heaven on grill. Looking real juicy and succulent. I love the color. All right, everyone, that does it for this episode of JR's Plate. Today, we did spare ribs, we did baked potatoes, and we did salad with ranch dressing. I hope everyone enjoyed it. What's on your plate? leave it in the comments below next week we'll do something inside the kitchen away from all the bugs the bees and the the motorists on the road looking forward to seeing you thank you for watching peace